hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn in this video how you can do the sorting and filtering the data from your table so let's get started so in this video we are going to cover up order by close syntax how you can order your data in ascending or the descending order filtering the data with uh, with the predicates like a where command and filtering the sum, uh, select close with the top values top value like you need a uh, first 10 10 values 5 values or the first 100 entries from the table and then how you can handle your the null values so here is the order by let's understand the example and then we'll move it to the practical lab so here is a example i given a so you need to use select order id these are the columns what we selected and based on your the order date we can order by uh, order by the column name so i'm filtering the data i'm doing the order by with your the date and then if you want to use the ascending or the descending it will filter it out data based on uh, your uh, the sequence whatever you want now here is a order by order by with the alias if you select the sum of the column and you are putting as you are renaming the your column name as a order year to year and then you can use the order by with the alias also now order by the descending order so by default if you are using the order by it will be in a ascending order and if you want to change in the descending you have to change the uh, you have to add it the desc descending by the order so that's how you can use the uh, your order by command let's go to the where command this uh, already i explained in my the last uh, in my the last uh, uh, sorry in my last video also so you can use the select where equal to the name or whatever you need and uh, then you can filter it out based on the data where the order date is greater than particular this value and then you can give the any range also in the date so where the order date this and the order date is, uh, is a uh, less than equal to this so you can give the range also you can give the equal or you can use the mathematically here like you need uh, equal to you need the greater than less than or or not equal to like that predicates you can use now let me go for the next is the top value so if you if your table is having thousand or lakhs of data then if you want to check all the columns or you need just only the top 10 values so how you can do that uh, so add a, add a select close what are the conditions we can match it here use the parameters it's called select top n you can put it the n number how many data you need it like 5 10 20 100 or you can put it like in the percentage as well so you can put it top n and then the percent how many percent data you want to present here top n with the ties you can retrieve the duplicates where the applicable the determinatic and this is the example how you can select the top values okay so i did a mistake here select top uh, 10 should be inside the bracket and uh, this is like your uh, the table name and then the table name and you can use the condition now let me go to the next how to handle the null values so here is the null values for different component of sql server handle the null uh, differently so based on your condition different different components in the sql handle the null value in the differently but here i covered up uh, all these types of null value how you can handle it so like a query filter is on now here if you use the query filter on where having just filter it out the unknown values if you check the contain uh, your con uh, concentrate accept the unknown values order by or distinct treat null or equals and testing for the null is equal to null or is not equal to run or rather than a, a you can use equal to null or uh, or like a greater than or less than 
null so here is the example how you can use it you can use under the where religion is not equal to null so that's how you can present here the null value so guys now let's move it to the sql server how you can do that and how you can do the practical let me move it to the lab so now i am under the sql server and let's see the our first query how we can write our uh, order by and uh, let's give it right so what i'm doing let me write the query let's say select start from the table name employee and let's run this query so what type of data i am having i am having here the data it's uh, like a your uh, uh, employee id name and all these things and now what i can do let me emp let me put it the alias name emp and i'm going to select the sum of uh, table emp dot let's say employee id comma emp dot the first name comma and uh, then emp dot last name and yeah i think this is enough let me take a uh, office location also emp dot office location so here we'll be doing all these practicals so now the first thing is how i can use uh, the order by so type it here order by and which table i need to do i can go for the first name so emp dot first name and then it will do the order let's execute this command so now this is uh, now all these the first name is come in the order and you can see in the second got change for the employee id the second thing if we would like to change the order by descending desc and let's run the thing so now it's became in the descending order so that's how you can use your order command ascending or the descending now uh, next is for the filtering the data you can use filter uh, the where command with the order so let's give it try where emp employee let's say employee dot let's say employee id is equal to like 1001 so let's do the where filtering with the order by and now it's done so that's how you can use the where conditions also you can do the filtering and uh, with your uh, uh, with your data now another example is for how you can handle the null value so let's see if i can find out any of null value here so let me remove this and let me go with this and now here what i can type is is not null so employee id should not be is equal to null so where the employee id is not equal to null let's see so it's print me all the id where the value is not null under the employee id so if i'm putting the data is null if i need only the null value so i can type it say equal to null so here is a, there is a no null value under the employee id that's why it's showing the your uh, zero data here so guys uh, that's how you can do your practical and uh, thank you for watching uh, this video see you soon in my next video